guys. It's Dollar Tree Prima Donna here. Yes, I'm alive. I'm well. I'm sorry. I've been absent from my channel for so long. I, I'm truly sorry for that. I've been dealing with a lot. There's been a death in the family. We've been on vacation. We've had surgeries. We're planning all kinds of things. We've been, I mean, I could go on and on, but it's really not an excuse, but there's been a lot going on. I'm just here to let y'all know I'm back and I have a huge haul for y'all and it's it's from multiple stores, Dollar Tree, 99 cent only, and Party City, I believe are those three stores that we're going to get into. It's a huge haul. Um, currently, I'm planning a Halloween birthday slash... Um, costume party for not only my boyfriend's son but also my son it's a combined party and um, I have tons of Halloween stuff to show y'all um, and some random stuff but I'm just gonna jump right into it and I'll let you know where things from and prices and stuff so <clears throat> um, first of all I got three of these cauldrons from Dollar Tree um, for favors and stuff and in here, I have these um, little eyeball ping pong balls. These are for a game that I made. And then if you, if I'm just going to tilt it. And I can't take everything out of here. I'm sorry. But I filled it up already. And there's a ton of stuff in here. And I can't dig, really dig through it. So, um, But there's candy. There's little plane whistles. There's little paddle boards. Little stickers with eight inside. And there's like 18 packs of these. Um, little glow-in-the-dark snakes. There's a lot more, um, prizes in here, but like I said, I can't dig because everything's going to start falling out. But everything that's in here is from Dollar Tree. All the prizes, all the candy, this pencil, like, all that stuff is from Dollar Tree. Um... Here's my other cauldron, and here's my other cauldron. And I put the party favors in here, which um, I made some for the adult kids, which have gum, and then some for toddlers, which obviously don't. So, like this one has a Krabby Patty and a candy um, bracelet, bag of bones, six lits, little gummy bears. And then for the adult one or the big kid one, we have bubble gum everywhere, bubble gum eyeballs. And for a prize, for a big kid prize, I'm going to give away this glove. And it's just full of um, candy eye, uh, eyeball gumballs. Okay, right? Yeah, okay. So yeah, I thought that was cute. And so there's my three cauldrons. Um, face makeup I got from Party City. I believe this one was $1.98 for the fake blood. And you get 0.95 ounces. It's cheaper at Walmart, guys, but I was already at Party Party City and had just thought about it. And I don't know if you're like me, if you don't think about it and get it right at that moment. You're very liable to forget later on. That's me. That's why I need to constantly write down stuff. Because I'm one of those forgetful people. <laughs> okay. And then this is the black and white makeup kit. It was $2.98. But like I said, cheaper at Walmart. So if you need cheap makeup, go to Walmart. Um, these buckets I got from the 99 cent only store. Um, this is Parker's little basket or bucket and you know it changes from regular house to a big creepy haunted house and the bats and there's a witch and he loved it that it changes and stuff so got him that for my cam cam I got her this purple bucket it's really big like really big so lots of candy and for Caleb I got the glow in the dark skeleton because that's just cute 99 cent only store, all three 99 cents. Party City, I got this demented um, nurse and surgeon. Ooh, look how creepy, I love it. And this was 99 cents. 
at Party City. How to get it, guys. This is what Caleb's going to be for Halloween. It's a crazed jester. That's a mask and a little, um, I don't know what you call this, a staff. I don't know. But anyways, and this costume was $32.99. Is it just me or like costumes so high? Like ridiculous. Like I would not pay that much for this costume. If I knew how to make them, I would. But I, I, I don't know how to sew. So maybe. Maybe one day. I don't know. Maybe. Uh-huh. Okay. So, and I'm really disappointed in these, but, I mean, it's just my fault. I wanted two strobe lights, and I went to Party City and got these, but let me show you why I'm disappointed. Okay, this one doesn't work. Go figure. Okay, this one, <clears throat> see? Sorry, I don't want to point that right at y'all. That's all it does. It's not an actual strobe light, which is what I was wanting. So I'm going to take these two guys back and get regular strobe lights. Duh. Like, I need to check it. <laughs> uh, I'm telling y'all, it's been crazy around here. Um, Party City, 99 cents. These little ghouls, I guess you would call them. And I'm going to hang them up on my porch. Because, like I said, I'm decorating for this party. And it's going to be creepy. Not cute. Um, oh my gosh, y'all. I feel so bad for y'all. I hope that y'all are comfortable right now. I hope that y'all have something to eat and drink because it's it's going to be a long one. And I'm trying really hard to go as fast as I can. Okay. Um, Dollar Tree. is um, I got these. Black and white. I mean, black and white. Black and orange cutlery and there's 48 in each i'm expecting about 35 people but some extra people may come through i mean not stay for a while but they're gonna come through so i figure better safe than sorry so dollar tree um i got this for caleb i don't really give parker a card because he's only well he's gonna be turning three and he can't read and he's not really interested in that so I just got Caleb one at Dollar Tree and um, it says son no one else could fill your shoes and no one would even go near your socks now how true is that for an 11 year old boy happy birthday anyway happy birthday anyways it's cute because you know how kids are so. um now, I got these at Party City, and they were on sale, guys, for $2 a piece. So, I picked up three of these bad boys. Very heavy duty. Um, they're just a pumpkin, but look at the border. I re that was, That's what really got me. The black border with the pumpkin and the candy corn. There's 40 plates in each and like I said I got three guys and but these are very heavy like I I can't even tell you like they're super heavy two dollars a piece though I had to get them and then I got three of the little ones for cake can't go wrong two bucks Okay. Mm. Tombstones, because I'm going to make a graveyard in my front yard. So I got four. I got this one that says creepy. This one, it comes with stakes for the ground. And I was going to put them up the other day. I was going to put them up the other day. But over here, it was like storming, and the winds were very high, and I didn't want them to blow away. Now, you can get some better stakes for these. These aren't that great, but this one says beware. This one, rest in peace with a spider. I like that often shaped one. And then this one says trick or treat. So, I got four, and I think I'm going to do them all in a row. 
So, because I was debating on doing two in the front and then two in the back, but I think I'm just going to do four in the front. So, um, okay. I got two of these blood dripping little battery operated lights. I'll show you. They look like here's one on. So, very soft light. So what I'm doing for these, I'll explain to you as I pull stuff out, what I'm doing with them for decorations. Um, I'm going to put these in my uh, fireplace. Yes. Like this. And I have bags of bones that I'm going to put in there as well. With these on at night, I think that's going to make a really cute little effect, little ambiance, you know. So that's what I'm doing with these. Um, I got some glow sticks. These are an eight pack of bracelets. And I need these for several things. Um, one of the things I need these for are, I'll just show you, I'll just tell you. Well, one of these things I'm doing is I've been collecting paper towel um tubes and toilet paper tubes and i'm gonna cut them into the shapes of eyes stick them in my bush or stick them in the bushes in the front and then we're gonna put a glow stick in the tube so it looks like glowing eyes are just lurking out at you you know from the bushes so that's what I, these are for but there's other purposes for these um another purpose is i'm gonna actually make a bracelet you know, it comes with the connector, so you have a little ring, and I'm, I got a pumpkin with a big trunk on it, and that's going to be a tossing pumpkin game that's going to be at the party. And then I have another use for these, but I'll tell you when I get to the other um, object. So. Oh my gosh, I'm like so not wanting to take everything out of this bag because there's so much. But I love you guys and I want to show you all the amazing stuff I got. So I'm going to take it out of the bag. Okay, this is from Dollar Tree. This is an Elvira hang up. She's five feet tall, so she's taller than me. I got 411 probs, by the way, people. Full grown woman 411 props. <laughs> and then I got this zombie mummy how I would explain it. He's pretty cool. I can't wait to hang these up. And I don't know where I'm going to hang them up yet, but we'll figure it out. Um, here's some body parts. And actually, these two are from the 99 cent only store. Those two are from Dollar Tree. These are from the 99 cent only store. Both 99 cents. And these are going in the fireplace and here's my bag of bones got these from 99 cent only store as well so there's two oh. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these in the fireplace I might just do the bag of bones with the lights the little blood lights and then use these other body parts to stuff under a garage door or something we'll see I know, I feel bad for the kids coming over because just, just listen to what I'm doing in the backyard. Like, I'll explain that later. Um, these are both from Dollar Tree. He's like, oh, I'm going off to war and oh no, I came back a zombie. Ah. Okay, and this one's like, oh, would you like your bed to be made, sir? I love these. These are awesome. I could like just play with them all day. But these are super cool. I like the vintage vibes. So awesome. Um, this I'm going to put in the entryway for when people come in for the party. And just like this, like the picture. You know, in the hallway. Put these on the floor. Um, I also got this creepy witch. Seems like it's just her eye, man. Look at that eye. That eye just throws you off. So, had to have her. Okay, I got three witch hats. These are all from 99 cent only store. The witch was from Dollar Tree. I'm I'm trying, I'm trying, guys, to keep y'all lit. 
give you the accurate information, okay? So I got two of these, and this is super cute. Even if you don't use it for decoration for yourself or, you know, your kid's costume, it is super cute. Look at that. 99 cents. So I got two of those, and what I'm doing with these is I got some fishing line. I'm going to hang these from my front porch, and then I'm going to attach a glow stick on the inside. So when it's night, it's going to look like a glowing, floating witch hat. So there's two of those, and in the, in the middle, I'm going to have this one, which the pattern on here is skulls. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really cute. And then the hat itself is like a little star. So this one's going in the middle, but yeah, that's what those are going to be. And if it's hard for you to get these ideas in your head, don't worry because I will be doing a video of my house when it's all said and done so that y'all can do a walkthrough with me, okay? Um, now these are from Dollar Tree. These are two bats I got. These also are going on the front porch. Um, all the hanging things are going on the front. I'm just going to have a whole bunch of hanging stuff. Um, I got this little skeleton. And I was going to put him like this on a platter and put a whole bunch of foods around, like finger foods and stuff around him. But I just thought he would make a cute little snack centerpiece. I hope I don't scare any kids, guys. Do you think they're going to be scared to, like, reach in and get stuff with the skeleton like this? Or they might be too young to understand it. Like the younger ones. The younger ones I'm really, like, I hope, I hope I don't. I hope I don't scare them. But it's a it's a good possibility that some of them are gonna get scared. But I don't know. We'll see. I got three packages of the charcoal colored um cheesecloth, or as they call it, creepy cloth. Um now there is white and there is black, but I got the charcoal because it looks old and musty and we're going for that effect. Um, I got two of these stretchy creatures, which are just rubber bugs. Um, and they're all roaches. So here's what I'm doing with these. I have a lamp um, in my living room that you see when you come in. And I'm just going to take one of these bad boys and tape it on the inside of the lampshade so that when you turn the lamp on, you get that shadow outline of um, a roach. Yay! And then the rest, I'm going to have them kind of like going like this, like a scattering motion out of an air vent in the living room. So that's what I'm doing with these. I'm telling you guys, creepy stuff is going on at my house. <laughs> I got a big giant spider. This is also going in the front porch. I have a lot of spider webs. I've been doing some webbing already in the front. It's nothing to show y'all yet. Y'all bear with me. But I will be having this bad boy on said spider web. Cotton balls. Um, and that's from Dollar Tree. Yes, this is from Dollar Tree. Um, as you know, it's a shirt. So I just got these to put. Let me show y'all what I'm going to be doing. And y'all can do it too at home. It's such an easy DIY. I'm doing a lot of DIYs for this party, but this is one of them. So I got this cute little glass at uh, Dollar Tree. I got two of them. So you're going to, you're going to, well, I don't have my spiders or anything, but you're going to, you're going to take your cotton balls and you're going to drop them. In here I'm just showing you this one because it's so easy so what you're gonna do is put your cotton balls in here and then like those bugs I showed you like the roaches you can get spiders or you can get whatever you want really and put it in here and then you're gonna take a glow stick and stick it in the middle so that it gives it this cute little effect of the spiders in the cotton but it's a centerpiece and I got two of them so that's just what I'm doing. You can even go as far as maybe um, putting a few colored, red coloring drops on top of the um, cotton balls and let it go down and make it look like blood even. You could go, you could do that. 
you could paint these or design them any way you want. I'm just doing it, you know, just, just the basic one. Because I have so much going on. I can't get, like, too, too creative. <laughs> um, here's more spider webbing. I actually got these two packs at 99 cent only store. And these have um, 3.5 ounces. And I believe the Dollar Tree pack is only like two point some odd ounces. So you're getting more bang for your buck. And I know not everybody has a 99 cent only store where they live, but it really is an awesome store. Like, if you haven't checked it out, I would just, if you have one in your area, I would highly advise you to go check it out. They have a lot of great deals too. Okay, Par uh, pumpkin carving set, and this is from 99 cent only store. No, is it? No, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree. And that's just so we can do pumpkins for Halloween. Masking tape is for the party as well. We're doing body outlines throughout the house on the floor. So fun stuff. <laughs> um, we got some zombie crossing tape. Then we got some caution tape. And I need this for an accident scene I'm creating in the backyard. Well, actually, my boyfriend's going to create it. So it's just a lawnmower accident. We're going to put our lawnmower over... A pair of Josh's old pants that are gonna be stuffed with newspaper I'm gonna kind of stain them a little at the top with food coloring so it looks like blood and put some shoes on so it's gonna be you know the legs coming out underneath the lawnmower and then we're gonna have some stakes in the ground I don't know if I brought those in here but I bought some um, you're gonna put the stakes in the ground and then put that caution tape around it and then we're gonna put a strobe light on it magnify it <laughs> you know give it that full effect as the accidents happen but um that's why I think the kids might get a little scared but um they don't have to go outside in the back we might just let the bigger kids and adults go back there and look at it but keep the kids in here and in the garage and in the front yard just so they don't get too scared I got three packs of these. I know there's only two, but I have another pack somewhere. But I got three packs of these glow-in-the-dark things. Another DIY is for um, these drinks. So all you do is you take a cup, a clear cup, put Sprite in it, and then you get a little bottle of the Kool-Aid Fruit Punch, or you can get Great Value or whatever brand of the Fruit Punch uh, syrup mix that you just put in your water and flavors it you put that in your sprite and so when it, you just put a few drops and it comes down and it like disperses and it looks like blood inside and then you put a little fang in there and it's like a vampire blood drink it's super cute i love it i love the idea pinterest guys just saying i got a pumpkin strobe light and then i got a pack of the the two um LED tea lights for the other um, pumpkins. I got a 20 piece uh, bracelet, uh, glow stick bracelet. I tried to find another one of these because I was like 20 and 20. That'd be perfect, but they only had eight, so I picked that one up. Um, 99 cent only, I got this Happy Halloween black light. And I love the style of it. It's like an Edison bulb. I really like that. Some twine. It's 420 feet. I'm I'm gonna hang these from the backyard uh, tree on the limbs, and tie donuts around them, and let the kids eat the donut off the string with their hands behind their back, and whoever finishes a whole donut first. Like, eats a whole one with no hands first, gets a prize. So, that's what that's for. Here's a skull. Probably going to put him in the fireplace, too. But not certain. Um, then I got some candles. I got some white candles, and I got a red candle. So, what you do, it's another DIY. 
of course. So you get your white, you get your red candle, light it, let it get real waxy, and then you drip it all across on the white candle so it gives it that blood dripping effect. And then you can stick pins or or um, nails in here and give it even more of a creepy effect, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do the those. Um, this is from 99 cent only store. It's a bloody tablecloth decoration, but it's basically just torn up, um, cheesecloth that's splattered, blood splattered, but that's what I'm going to put on the table. Then I have a wall border decoration, which is also dripping blood. So, okay, finally we're done and someone just texted me and I had to like clear it and it messed up my video, so sorry. Um, what else do we have? Oh my god. More, much more. I mean, I wish you could see. Um, at the party, I'm doing tattoos, so I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna put this somewhere. And it just says a tattoo spot. We have Avengers, Paw Patrol, and Disney Princesses. So we're going to have this set up and then the tattoos and have someone, you know, with a sponge and they can put them on the kids. So that's a little idea. Um, these are from 99 cent only store. I got two of these witch hands. They're on stakes. So they're for the graveyard. And then I got two of these spider chain fence, the stake things also for the graveyard. Um, I got this adorable cake stand. I'm making bloody cheesecakes for the boys' um, birthday cakes. And then I had to get this cute bowl, the spider. This is from Dollar Tree. This is from 99 cent only store. Both 99 cents. Okay. Oh, man. A lot of my stuff fell in here, guys. Um, also from the 99 cent only store, both... The jar and the candy came from there. And um, it's just one bag of candy corn that's in here. But I counted them all, and it's going to be a guessing game of whoever gets the closest to the exact amount, of course, gets a prize. So if y'all guys want to guess, here you go. This is what it looks like. Head to jar comparison. How many do you think are in here? I know how many, but I want to hear what your guess is. Tell me how many candy corn are in here. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Okay. That one's self-explanatory. Um, ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. That was for the um, little party favor bags. The gloves. My tattoos are all in here cut up, so I don't want to take those out. But I got this big orange bucket from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be doing bobbing for apples. For the younger kids, you know. Oh my gosh, guys. I got some platters. There's three of these size, of this size. And then two pack of these of the bigger size so I'm gonna be having at this party a ton of food I'm making like a 90 count pizza roll Tostitos pizza rolls I got three different types of boneless wings I got nuggets for the kids I'm making a triple recipe dip in my slow cooker I got two huge bags of chips I'm making tons of treats and then my my birthday cheesecake cakes like I have a lot to do guys but it's gonna be so worth it for the children and to celebrate and I just I like to decorate too it gives me a great excuse so you know everybody's winning um here's the game I made it's not very exciting I'm not that crafty um and it's just called the eyeball oh my gosh eyeball toss and if you get um, this cup up here, the very top one, you get a prize. Oh my god, I spelled prize wrong. What an idiot. I need to get another phone board. But anyways, the rest of these are in the candy zone, and you just get a piece of candy. And the ping pong balls do bounce off 
the cups because plastic and plastic. So we're gonna do some water in the bowls, put them outside and give a little drop of food coloring, red food coloring. That was my boyfriend's idea and I like it. So we're gonna do that, but now I have to get another board. Prize. I spelled prize P-I-Z-E. It makes me just, it makes me realize that I have so much going on that I can't even spell a simple word. It's, it's kind of sad, guys. <laughs> no, it's an easy fix. Foam board's a dollar, so easy fix. Um, I picked up some Good Sense flat ties. They're in lemon scent, and there's 14. Those will be so handy to keep around for the party. Um, two pack of Scotch transparent tape. These are hot right now, Christmas time, so. I got a three pack of these utility knives. This is all a dollar tree, guys, just to let you know. I got uh, these Jot Metallic Markers, a four pack. I already opened them. But here's what they look like. I got a red one. I feel like there's two gold, but one's bronze and one gold. And the bronze one actually looks better than the gold one. And then a blue one. Um, here's my third pack of things. Um, I got some, um, what do you call this? Construction paper. I got the big comet. I know everybody's getting the scented one, but I'm old school. I like the scent. I'm weird. I like the scent of cleaning products. And my one of my favorite ones growing up was Comet, the original one. Why would I why would I try to alter that? These are memories right here, guys. Memories. <laughs> Not like Mommy Dearest memories. If you ever seen Mommy Dearest, then you know the Comet. Comet comment comment that I make it right now yeah you know I didn't have that experience thank god but <laughs> I did clean with it and I love the smell of it I got a e-circuit USB cable it's the one with the little like wire around it these work really good these are like the best ones you can get at Dollar Tree because they actually work Party City I got the 60 watt UV black light this is going on the front porch. I got Comet Classic Home Cleaner for a toilet bowl. That's 24 fluid ounces. I also got the Comet Classic um, Foaming Bleach Bathroom Cleaner. And this is in 24 fluid ounces as well. Okay. That, guys, is basically all my Halloween stuff that I don't already have out. Like I said, I will do a walkthrough of my home when it's all done. Um... Let me get to some stuff that I found for Christmas. I already, I know some of y'all are like, what? Christmas already? But others are like, yeah, Christmas. And they're already getting shopping done. Well, that's me. I like to start early because we have big family. And anything that we can find at Dollar Tree that is good quality for our family, you know, that's what I'm here for. That's what I live for. I'm, I'm frugal. I'm not a cheapskate by any means, but I am frugal and I like to save money and if it's good quality and it's name brand and you know, I know my family will enjoy it, then I'm going to get it. So without further ado, here are some items I found at Dollar Tree for Christmas. Now this one, I've never seen anyone haul yet. This is the Pokemon activity set and it comes with a coloring book three velvet art posters, a plastic stencil sheet, and a sheet of stickers, and six markers, you guys. And I don't know about y'all, but I, my Cam Cam, she's eight going on nine, and she loves stationary anything. So this is going to be for her. She is going to love it. Look at all this stuff you get, guys. I mean, that's good for a boy or a girl, but she's going to love it. I mean, for a dollar, I looked this brand up and this set online on Amazon. It's like $17. So I saved $16. I got her this uh, Creative Kids Cross Stitch one. And I was trying to find a different one that I saw someone else haul. I think it was a cat. But this is cute, too. And... You know, she's never done this cross-stitching, and this is comes with the board, 
the plastic needle and nine colors of yarn and instructions. So I figure she can start off with this. If she likes it, we can move on. But that's a good thing for Christmas. I also found these adorable frozen um, flip flops in her size, which is a 12, oh, no, I'm sorry, 13 one. And I thought, I know it'll be for Christmas, but she can use them in the summer and it's a present. I mean, these are super cute. Good dollar, guys. <clears throat> I found this pack of GE Revealed 75 light bulbs, and it's a four pack. Name brand, so I had to get it. I found this that everybody's been finding, the Yokai watch. This is the only one I found in one of my stores. Has the glow in the eye, glow in the eye, glow in the dark eye stickers as well. Um, I think this is what the actual watch looks like inside. I'm not really sure what the yokai is or what you do to play it or whatever, but we'll figure it out. I just thought that he would enjoy it. It doesn't even matter if he knows what it's for because he's going to be three and he'll just want to play with it. So this is a great buy for a young child. <clears throat> Then, I'm so glad I found these. This is going to go to Caleb, I think. I might change that later on. I'm going to kind of subtly, subtly ask him if he likes these. And then, with that response, I'll figure out if this is going to be for Cameron or for him. But these are the sick bricks. Guys, this online is like $10. And you get a lot. And then you can unlock a game on your phone by scanning these. And I just thought, how awesome is that? I, I'm so thrilled with those. And then look, I got this cute little cat basket for the party. But um, <clears throat> that is it, guys. That is my huge haul, Party City, Dollar Tree, and 99 cent only store. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I, I will be bringing y'all more, I promise. Like I said, I've been so busy. And I can't wait to get this all set up for you guys, for my guests and family. And um, I just can't wait to have a great time with everyone and see all the costumes and, you know, enjoy the company. And um, I'm having friends come over Friday to help me with my projects and decorating, as well as Saturday. The party is Saturday at 6 p.m. So um, I will be giving y'all a home tour on Saturday before the party, like during the day or early morning. So stay tuned for that and um, happy Monday. I hope y'all are gonna have a great day. Have a great day right now. Start early. I know how sometimes you can wake up and feel so blah and I know I'm not a morning person either, but it's a mind thing. So if you're having problems with yourself or with someone else or going through something, first of all, know you're not alone and it's okay. You woke up. You're starting. That's a start. Now it's in your mind. Get your mindset right. And if you think positive thoughts, I really believe that you will feel positive. And um, I'm also supporting Team Thomas. And this is, um, I don't know if, if y'all know anybody with muscle um, dystrophy, but I support a family who has a very young son that has it. And um, so I support y'all. I am behind y'all 110%, okay, guys? All right, well... If y'all have any questions or comments, just let me know. Please subscribe so I can give y'all more um, information, more DIYs, more decorations, more party ideas, and of course, more hauls. So with that being said, guys, have a great day. Bye.